AQA, A-level physics, circular motion. And this bit of the specification, we're diving into uh, A2 stuff now, my first A2 video for AQA. This is important, remember this, get it tattooed somewhere on your body. If an object is moving in a circle, it is accelerating. Yeah, if an object is moving in a circle, it is accelerating. Therefore, there is a resultant force acting on it. Okay, we're talking in this first diagram here, we're talking about the, the hammer on the end of the rope, on the end of the cable. It's moving in a circle, it is accelerating. Here, there's the moon going round the earth. It's moving in a circle almost a circle near enough a circle it is accelerating okay a, a car going around a roundabout doesn't have to be a complete circle you know just part of a circle if it's going in a circle it is accelerating there is a resultant force acting on it and the resultant force and the acceleration are towards the center okay so there the force acting on the moon is towards the center of the circle. The force acting on this hammer is towards the center of the circle. The force acting on the car is towards the center of the circle. What that force is depends on the circumstance. On the first diagram, the force is the, the tension in the cable. Okay, on this, uh, the moon, the force is the gravitational attraction of the earth. Uh, on this bottom diagram, the force is friction, friction between the tires and the road. But remember, it is accelerating, there is a resultant force. Now, Newton said an object will carry on in a straight line or at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external resultant force. Okay, if we look at this carriage on the roller coaster, is it carrying on in a straight line? No, its velocity is changing. What's making its velocity change? There is a resultant force. So again, an object moving in a circle, it is accelerating, its velocity is changing. There must be a resultant force. In this particular example, can you think about what, what is actually producing that force? What is this force towards the center of the circle? And the answer is it's actually the, the, the contact force uh, between these carriages and the ramp that they're on, okay? And it is towards the center. It is centripetal. Now, uh, here we have an object which is going round in a circle there. This is the center of the circle here an object of mass m at any instant in time its velocity is v in that direction now we will only need to worry about objects moving with a constant speed okay so they're not speeding up they're not slowing down it's what we call uniform circular motion as i've already said the velocity is changing because the direction of the velocity will constantly be changing so it is accelerating but it's going at a constant speed. So here's my object going around in a circle. Uh, I'm not going to go through this derivation. The important point is we end up with these two equations here. Uh, v equals omega r, uh, and omega is 2 pi over t, uh, which is 2 pi f. Omega is the angular velocity. Yeah, It's radians per second we usually measure it in. It's the angle, looking here, if you imagine this angle here, theta, yeah, the angle swept out in a certain time. So theta over t, radians per second. Okay, so omega is theta over t, angular velocity. And if you think about it, if it does a complete revolution, then theta is two pi, and the time is the period, the time it takes to go around. So that's where we get this equation from. Omega is 2 pi over t. And as t is 1 over f, 
we get omega equals 2 pi f. And that's a jolly useful equation, omega equals 2 pi f. And then this equation, v equals omega r, uh, if you go through the derivation above, you don't need to. But v, the velocity or the speed, if you like, equals omega times the radius. Here's an example using those equations. Have a go at it yourself. I'll show you the answers in three, two, one. There you go. Uh, now, if an object is moving in a circle, then it is being pushed or pulled towards the middle by some force. There is a force acting on the object which is pushing it or pulling it towards the middle. This person here on a wall of death riding around on the motorbike, okay, they're going in a circle. There must be some force pushing them towards the middle. And in this case, the force pushing them towards the middle is the reaction force. It's the push of the floor. So the, the floor is pushing them towards the middle of the circle. And people get confused. Towards the middle is centripetal. The word centripetal just means towards the middle. When you say, what? well, what force is acting on them? Oh, it's the centripetal force. Yeah. That doesn't answer the question. All you're telling me is that it's towards the middle. What is the centripetal force? What force is pushing them towards the middle? And it depends on the circumstance. If an object is moving in a circle, then the resultant force acting on it and its acceleration are both centripetal. They are towards the middle. Okay, now the centripetal acceleration Here's a, another couple of useful equations. A equals V squared over R equals omega squared R. Okay, the derivation for this equation is a little bit tricky and you don't need to know it, so I'm not going to do it, I have decided. So A equals V squared over R equals omega squared R. And then because F equals MA, we get F equals M V squared over R or F equals M omega squared R. And that will enable us to work out the resultant, because there may be more than one force, the resultant force towards the middle and the acceleration towards the middle. Here's a question for you to have a go at, have a read, have a go, pen, paper, calculator. I'll show you the answer in three, two, one, there you go. And here's another one to have a go at. Uh, usually after this topic, I go on to teach gravitation and we talk about orbits and we use our circular motion equations when we talk about, you know, different types of orbit and geostationary and close polar orbits, etc. So anyway, have a go at this question, pen, paper, calculator. And the answers are there.